What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing iSky Soft iPhone Data Recovery. Now the company themselves have reached out to me and they want me to do a review on this product and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So this is what it looks like right here and as you can see it's got a very nice UI. It's very simple, all you can see here, recover from iOS device, recover from iTunes backup file, recover from iCloud backup file, and fix iOS to normal. So first of all, we need to connect our iOS device. I'm connecting my iPhone, which is running iOS 9.1. Okay, so as you can see, it has found my device. And this is what we'll now be presented with. We can choose what data we want to recover. Now, this is the first time I've seen a software offer so many different things to actually recover. For example, the calendar reminder, the messages and attachments. I've never seen this before, but they're all here. And of course, you don't have to select all of them. You can uncheck boxes for the ones that you don't want to scan. And of course, the more you scan, the longer it will take. And then here at the bottom is just to select all buttons, so to save you time, just uncheck it, and then you can check the ones that you want to scan. Now they're also separated into two different columns, data deleted from the device and existing data on the device. So right now I'm going to be unplugging my iPhone and I'm going to go and delete one of my notes. From there, I'm going to see if I can recover it. Okay, so I actually in fact deleted two of my notes and we're going to see if we can get them back. So we're going to select notes and attachments and now we're going to select start scan. So you can see it's going to be very quick since it's only one thing we are scanning. And as you can see here, we have a remaining time estimation. So that's good. It just lets us know how long it will take. Now, as you can see, it has finished the scan and my notes do actually have some personal things on it. So it's going to be blurred out. And now on the screen will be listed all of the notes you have ever created. The ones in orange are the ones that I have deleted and that's actually true because I did delete them a while ago and the dates I created them are there right there. Now this one right here is just a note and it even shows what was in the note. It shows the title of the note and it was just me trying to balance a diet out. So I'm actually going to recover this one and the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to check it I'm then going to come here and select recover and you can see I can recover to the computer or to the device. I'm going to recover it to the computer and you can see you can choose where you want to recover it to. I'm going to put it to the desktop. This opens up by itself. We'll open this up and I believe this is it right here. And as you'll see it will come up in Chrome but as you can see it tells you the title, the date and the note itself. So that's the first test done, it did get a pass, it got my data back and now we move on to the next thing which is recover from iTunes backup file. Now as you can see these are the backups I have done in the past on my iPod and my iPhones. Over here to the right is the serial number, obviously they are going to be blurred out but they're all here and as you can see at the bottom if your iOS device is not listed here, it's probably because your iOS device has not been synchronized with iTunes. Select the iTunes backup file from other folder to recover your data. So that means you'd come here and select select and then you'd come and choose your iTunes backup file. But as you can see, all you'd have to do is select one and select start scan. What this would do it would scan iTunes backup file if failed to recover from iOS device directly or lost iOS device. So it's a very good feature. Now I'm not going to be testing this one out purely because I am flying out tomorrow. I've got a lot of important things on my phone and I don't want to lose my data right now. As you can see the last backup was on the 4th of June so that was quite a while ago. But again all you do would select your device, you would select start scan and it would recover. The next thing is recover from iCloud backup file. So simply you would sign into your Apple ID. If you're concerned about your privacy, as you can see at number two at the bottom, iSkysoft takes your privacy seriously. We never keep records of any your Apple info or content at any time during your sessions. As you can see, there is a link there which takes you to their privacy policy. 
Now, I don't think I've ever created a iCloud backup simply because it was a new iCloud I've created, but we'll see. So I've just logged in. As you can see, it is retrieving iCloud, and it, I actually have backed it up. It's actually been backed up on my iPod multiple times. So it tells me the name, which device I backed this up on. It tells me the latest backup date, as you can see right here. It tells me the file size. It tells me what version I done it on. So as you can see, if I hover over it, it will say 9.0.1, 9.0.1 again, and I believe this one is the same. And then over here to the side, it tells you what iCloud account you got it from. So if you hover over it, you can simply select download. Now, you don't even need to have your device connected for this part. So I'm going to select download. And as you can see, this has come up. For iOS 9 iCloud backups, please install the iCloud panel before downloading. Okay, so that's a bit of a fault there. They really should have said somewhere like you need to download this before attempting it because now this requires me to do an extra step. So this is what they're asking you to download and it's off the official Apple website, so it's no problem. But that is how you recover from the iCloud backup file. Simply select download on the side here. Now onto the final thing, fix iOS to normal. This restores the device back to normal. If your iOS device is stuck in the black screen, the white Apple logo or continuous recovery loop and doesn't start up, the fix iOS to normal feature will help repair the operating system of your iPhone. Now my iPhone is working perfectly fine. So as you can see, it says functioning operating system, no need to repair. So now I'm going to give each of them an overall rating out of five. So we have recover from iOS device. So the purpose of this is to scan iOS device to find recently deleted data. Now, it did do the job. However, I'm going to give it a four star out of five. The reason being is because what if you accidentally deleted your Safari history and you had an important website link and you cannot recover it from here. As you can see, you can only recover the Safari bookmark. Yes, I am being very critical on this. However, it's an important thing for some people. On to the next thing, which is recover from iTunes backup file. Now, for this one, I couldn't really give it an overall judgment simply because I didn't test it out, so I don't know how long it would take. But seeing the way it looks, I would give it a five star. The reason for that, it was very simple to scan all of my backups, and it tells me the date, my serial number, and the name of the backup. So it's everything I wanted, and is basically like iTunes. The next one is recover from the iCloud backup file. Now, this one I would give a 4 out of 5. The reason for this one is because, simply because they didn't state that you'd have to download this iCloud panel. It would be much more easier if we could simply select download and then it would begin to download, but instead we're forced to do something else. The final thing is fix iOS to normal. Now I cannot judge this one because I haven't had an issue with my iPhone just yet and this is telling me I really cannot do anything because my iPhone is functioning properly. With that being said, I'm going to give it a 5 star. The reason for that is because it's identified that my iPhone is running properly. And like other softwares, even when you have your device connected and it's running fine, they would still just have this button here saying to fix the iOS to normal, for example. Whereas this software actually tells you that there is nothing wrong with your device. Anyway, that is it for this video. And if you have ever deleted your photos, messages, contacts, etc., I believe this is the software for you. Honestly, I haven't seen any other software that actually offers this just yet and I feel like this is a good software to use. But this is just my opinion, I've given you my review on it. Now overall, i would give it a 4 out of 5 and I've explained my reasons for that already. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, what would you give it after seeing a review on this? Anyway, that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace. Come <laughs> on.